Many of the world's leading cybersecurity teams use Feedly to organize and automate their open source threat intelligence and stay ahead of emerging threats. We've had the chance to research over 100 accounts and review some of their best practices. In this video, I'm gonna show you how some of the leading teams in the world use Feedly for threat intelligence to organize and share their open source threat intelligence. Let's dive in. Most cybersecurity teams start their day in the threat intelligence dashboard. Inside the dashboard, you'll find trending cybersecurity articles and attacks, new vulnerabilities, active attackers, new behaviors, and malware families. It's easy to get a sense of what's going on in just a few minutes. Let me show you each section of the dashboard in just a little bit more detail. In the trending news section, stay ahead of attacks by seeing which threats are trending in the cybersecurity community. The vulnerabilities section can improve your reaction time and respond quickly to new vulnerabilities as they arise, allowing cybersecurity teams and their clients to stay informed of oncoming risks faster. In the attackers section, you can identify at a glance which threat actors are trending and quickly create LEO web alerts to track their actions and behaviors. More on web alerts in just a minute. In tactics and techniques, you can keep track of which TTPs are proving to be the most prevalent among threat actors. And in the new malware section, you can keep an eye on what new malwares have been trending in the past 10 days. Next, let's take a look at how you can use Feedly to discover and track critical vulnerabilities. The most effective way to track critical vulnerabilities in zero days across the web is with Leo, Feedly's AI search assistant. Leo has been pre-trained to understand cybersecurity concepts like vulnerabilities and assess their severity. He reads millions of articles every day looking for critical security threats. When Leo finds a CVE, he automatically searches for its CVSS score on NVD. He finds related exploits, malware families, links to threat actors, CWE information, and patches. He takes all that information and organizes it into one rich CVE intelligence card. If the CVE doesn't have a CVSS score yet, Leo uses machine learning and natural language processing to predict the CVSS score, keeping you one step ahead of the latest emerging threats. Creating a broad Leo web alert targeting all critical vulnerabilities will give you a really big picture view of what's happening across the entire threat landscape, while adding specific vendors to the search narrows down the focus into more precise and manageable feeds. Cybersecurity teams often create a Leo web alert for each of the main products deployed in their environment and group them into one vulnerabilities folder. Next, let's talk about how you can track adversarial behaviors. One way cybersecurity teams track and visualize the behaviors of specific threat actors and malware families is by using Feedly's integration with the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Leo has been pre-trained to understand the concept of threat actors using integration with Malpedia, MITRE ATT&CK version 10, and the concept of threat intelligence reports. These three concepts can easily be combined to track the behavior of selected adversaries. Cybersecurity teams often create a Leo web alert for each of the threat actors and malware families defined on their threat profiling list and group them into one threat intelligence folder. When Leo finds an article where he identified TTPs, he can map the content of that article to the attack navigator. That way cybersecurity teams can easily analyze the adversary behavior and compare it with their existing defenses. Leo has also been pre-trained to understand indicators of compromise. He finds malicious IPs, hashes, domains, email addresses, and URLs from articles and combines them into an exportable STIX 2.1 file with links to threat actors, malware families, and vulnerabilities for you to add to your threat intelligence platforms. Next, let's talk about how to track cyber attacks. Cybersecurity teams can efficiently track cyber attacks targeting their industry or their supply chain. Leo has been pre-trained to understand the concept of a cyber attack and who the target of the attack is. Here's an example of how a cybersecurity professional might ask Leo to track cyber attacks targeted at the finance industry. The focus of the search can also be narrowed down to more specific threats like data breaches impacting credit cards or cyber attacks using multi-factor authentication. Next, let's talk about how to follow your trusted feeds. Feedly allows cybersecurity teams to follow a wide variety of trusted feeds all in one place, including websites and blogs, newsletters, Reddit communities, Twitter accounts, including searches and hashtags. The teams that get the most out of Feedly turn it into their one-stop intelligence center so they can share common sources in one place. Lastly, let's talk about collecting and sharing threat intelligence using boards. 
when an article of importance surfaces, Feedly provides the tools to annotate, highlight, add notes, and save the article to a board for review later. When an article is saved to a team board, Feedly for Threat Intelligence users have additional options to auto-generate newsletters, share with Slack or Microsoft Teams, or use Feedly's REST API to integrate it into their existing workflow. Here's a few examples of team boards that have helped cybersecurity teams stay organized. You can set up a critical vulnerabilities board where you can save articles about exploitable vulnerabilities in zero days that a cybersecurity team will want to research and patch as soon as possible. Set up an IOC report board where you can save articles to be pushed to a seam like Splunk or Datadog. Set up a threat intelligence briefing board where you can save articles that you need to share with your executive team. You can also set up a threat actors board where you can save articles describing behaviors of specific threat actors active in the industry that should be imported to the TIP for the rest of the team to research. So overall, that's a very brief overview of how some of the leading cybersecurity teams in the world use Feedly to stay ahead of emerging threats. If you're not a current Feedly for Threat Intelligence customer, you can click the link below to sign up for a free 30-day trial. Thanks for watching.